sometimes in the name of doing service, we're actually doing disservice. Actually doing disservice. Kamala Kanta Vishwas was thinking that he was actually glorifying Advaita Charya as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but then he was disclosing something that was not supposed to be in there, which was his own insecurity. He was his secretary, his assistants. He knew about the financial dealings of Advaita Charya, and he knew that there was a debt of 300 rupees. But bringing that out, in public created a disservice to Advaita Charya. So in a similar way, if we're not broad-minded and sensitive and culture to the environment that we're in, we can create a disservice to our spiritual masters. And I had to notice this very early when I started traveling because I became the Minister of Book Distribution in the 1990s. And I kind of told myself that even if the Taliban would start selling Prabhupada's books, I would go there today to Afghanistan to train them to distribute Prabhupada's books because it's my mission. So, and honestly speaking, I've been to many places in ISKCON which have a very closed-minded, a very narrow type of understanding. And it was quite... Shocking to see how Krishna consciousness is being practiced and preached amidst very big, I mean, they call it, you know, good fences make good neighbors. <laughs> yeah. But but then you also see that like, you know, in the truck here, it says my India is great. And next door it says my Pakistan is great. And next door it says my Bangladesh is great. So everybody thinks they're great because it's the place of their birth. But when we read Chaitanya Charitamrita, Ye Krishna Tattva Veta, say Guru Hoy. Why did Chaitanya Mahaprabhu speak this verse? Mahaprabhu speak this verse. You know, Kiba Vipra, Kiba Nyasi, Shudra Kenano, Ye Krishna Tattva Veta, say Guru Hoy. And in the purport, Prabhupada and Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur mentions twice that irregardless of your caste, of your background, of your cultural conditioning. If you know the science of Krishna, you can become a spiritual master. Now, I was on the GBC in the 1990s, and it was wild times. And if you would have mentioned that a non prabhupada disciple could be a sannyasi guru or GBC, people would be seriously disturbed and seriously object to that because there was just the beginning of a new era, so to speak. So education is the way forward. Education is really the way of how we can overcome these insecurities. Just like now there is a ISKCON, ISKCON Disciples course, and there's also a course for ISKCON gurus. Unfortunately, we see that oftentimes people do either not take the ISKCON Disciple course, or they just take it before initiation instead of taking it before choosing a guru, <laughs> which is kind of counterproductive. Like Prabhupada one time mentioned when he saw a wedding ceremony and they, there, was a, there, there was a baby there, Prabhupada said, what is that? Usually wedding is first and then baby comes second, you know? <laughs> there has to be a sequence. So mm -hmm. the connection is that we have to learn the culture by actually studying our own tradition, our own Siddhanta, and seeing what is giving glory to Prabhupada, what is actually making Prabhupada happy, 